What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the All-Star Show. Today we're looking at some Marvel Legends figures and first off here we have the Hercules and Tiger retro figures. So we have these awesome figures on their retro cards. Very reminiscent of the old Marvel figures but we have Hercules and Tiger. Both look super cool and in their new awesome designs. So hopefully like Hercules is a much improved figure over the past ones but they both look awesome and again they're on the retro cards so they have these really nice card backs and everything all nice and sleek not damaged or anything and then we have their information there on the back. So we have for Hercules and Tiger tiger as well so both of these look really cool you know part of the avengers especially like the west coast avengers and everything so very awesome to have those two there together and then we're also going to throw in the compound hulk here so the walmart exclusive compound hulk looks pretty awesome so we have normal hulk mixed with red hulk there looks very cool together so i'll take a look at that as well since we just got this figure in so it's a mix and match set of figures here but all three look really cool and i'm excited to check all of them out so let me go ahead and get them out of the boxes and we'll take a look at them together so let's start off with tyra here and her real name is greer Grant mutated into a human tiger hybrid through a mystic ritual that bound her soul to the cat people and she's able to transform into tiger using the cat's head amulet which is there on her chest and in her story she was eventually recruited into the Avengers. So overall she looks really cool I really love the look of this figure so it's pretty much just your basic female body you know just pretty much an outfitless female but she does have like the bikini design on but I like how she's painted all orange it's a really nice looking orange color with the black tiger stripes looks very awesome she has the tail on the back the claws on her hand and then of course her face there so it just looks like your normal female face just all in orange and then she has the long red hair that looks awesome especially with like the design of it just a very nice looking figure overall just the colors and everything just pop so much on this figure so for her movements her head gear can twist side to side she can look down that far and up that far so not a whole lot of range obviously because of the hair a lot of her joints are stiff but her shoulders can come up about 90 degrees a little bit under there and can rotate all the way around she has a bicep twist a double elbow joint again a little stiff but can bend up that that far so pretty much fold all the way up on itself so really good the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth she has an ab crunch and twist under her chest so crunch forward crunch back so really good crunching there and can twist all the way around as well her hips can come up about 90 degrees there and out to the side a little bit thigh twist all the way around a double knee joint that can bend up that far in the back and the foot can rock back and forth and twist side to side and she also has the tail in the back that can pretty much just twist around so overall it seems like a pretty standard female but i like how it does have the bicep twist and the double elbow joints now we don't usually get those too often for women but overall Overall, a pretty nice looking figure with joints and the looks. So Tigra has the feline physiology, so obviously she's got cat-like features, which gives her superhuman strength, speed, durability, reflexes, and senses. She has the powers of empathy, which allows her to enhance and control the emotion of others. And then with her cat-like features, she has fangs and claws. And for additional accessories, we get some additional hands. So we have two fist hands as well, so if you don't want claws, you can have fists. And she comes with an additional head, so there's a look at her, so she's more like feral or something there. I like her long hair all blowing there, and then the teeth showing everything, which I we like this head let's see if we can switch it out so there i got the head switched i don't know if it's on very well but it was really hard to get on there but it looks pretty awesome though i like I said i do like that face a lot more it makes her look look much more angry and ready for attack so that's very awesome looking overall there for tigra and then we've got Hercules, which is very similar to all the stories you've heard of the Greek mythology of Hercules. So he's the son of Zeus. He went through the 12 labors, all that sort of stuff. So pretty much if you've seen any sort of story about Hercules, that pretty much follows along his story as well. But he comes into the Marvel Universe when Enchantress mesmerizes him and sends him to attack the Avengers. But he gets freed from the spell by Hawkeye and ends up joining up with the Avengers. So of course, Hercules has the Olympian physiology. So he has got like strength, speed, reflexes. He's invulnerable. He has a healing factor and of course immortal and so overall this looks pretty cool like this is when I think of Hercules the Marvel character this is what I picture so this is like the best looking one to me so it's awesome that they brought in that classic look here for the figure so there's a look at his face so he's got the nice blue eyes the brown beard and the brown hair with the gold like crown or covering over his head kind of stupid looking but it's nice that he's got it and then he doesn't have very much clothes on at all he's mostly naked but he does have like this chest harness piece reminds me of like He-Man with the like bulbs there on the arm pieces of course all the hair all over his body the belt around his waist with the H of course for Hercules the green underwear and then the gold bands around his arms and then he's just got like the ancient shoes of the leather straps wrapped around his legs and stuff but overall very nice looking figure big muscular guy and as I said just how I picture Hercules so for movements the head can twist all the way around he can look down that far and up that far so pretty good movements in there shoulders up under 90 degrees there and rotate all the way around we get a bicep twist a double elbow joint that only bends about 90 degrees there wrist twist around and flex back and forth ab crunch in the middle there so crunch back and forth 
width and twist around at the waist. Hips up 90 out to the side that far, thigh twist all the way around. A double knee joint that bends that far in the back. Shin twist right at the top of the shoes and then the foot can flex back and forth and twist side to side. So pretty nice figure overall, just limited in movements by the, his musculature. And for accessories, he comes with some additional hands. So we get some fist hands as well as an additional head. So we have this head here. It looks more like he's angry or something there just with the eyebrows and the gritted teeth compared to this one, which isn't much different. It just, you can tell he's more smiling there. So you can have angry or smiling, whichever you want. And then of course he comes with his signature weapon of the golden mace, which was created by Hephaestus and made out of adamantium. So very nice looking all gold mace there with the green handle and the brown strap, very similar like Thor's hammer. So let's put this into his hand. So there we got Hercules all ready to fight. And with Hercules, we do have some older figures. So we do have this old figure from 2006 from Marvel. So very uh, not good looking version of Hercules at all. You know, it does have that look of Hercules, but does not look very good at all. And then we have the more recent one from 2018, which is a much better looking version, but just has some differences that I don't like as much compared to this classic looking one that we just got. But there's our three versions of Hercules there, but I definitely think the new one is the best. And finally, we have the Walmart exclusive compound Hulk. So this is pretty much just a Hulk body that they repainted to mix in with the normal Hulk and the red Hulk combined here together. So with this, it is a combination of Bruce Banner and Thaddeus Ross. And this happens when Hulk and red Hulk are joined together by Impossible Man into Composite Hulk, as he was known in the comics, but Compound Hulk here. And they were combined together to use both of their abilities to fight Zimnu and defeat him. And once they beat Zimnu, Impossible Man separated them once again. So it's, like I said, it's just a combination of the two. So it's is pretty much half and half again to use both of their powers put together to be able to defeat Zimnu, which of course we've had that build a figure and I will bring in here at the end, but it looks pretty awesome. As I said, we do have the two versions of Hulk. So we have normal Hulk. So we have the green version, the Bruce Banner version with the purple pants that I just love and then his all green body. So it looks just like all the other Hulks we've had before. And then we have the red Hulk version. So the Thaddeus Ross version with the all red and then the black pants as well. So I just love the combination of these two because I really love the Marvel Legend Hulk figures. They're just so big and bulky and just look very cool so I like the combination of these two here put together so for movements the head can twist all the way around he can look down just a little bit and up a little bit so not a whole lot of range in there shoulders can come up about 90 degrees maybe a little bit under and rotate all the way around we get the bicep twist a single elbow joint that can bend up to 90 degrees there and has the rotation and wrist can twist around and flex back and forth we have the ab crunch and twist in the midsection so crunch forward crunch back so really good there and can twist a little side to side but then twist all the way around as the waist as well hips can come up at 90 degrees out to the side that far thigh twist all the way around a double knee joint that bends that far in the back and the foot can rock back and forth and twist side to side so once again just your standard hulk figure and for accessories we just get some additional hands so we have the open grabbing hands so we have one of green and one of red of course the switch between the two and then of course we do have each of the figures so we have the green hulk and the red hulk here to bring in so again it's just those two combined together into the compound hulk and as i mentioned from the story he is brought together to fight zimnu so here we have the build a figure of zimnu so we can have them facing off together there like they did in the comics and that is very cool overall for a compound hulk well, there are three Marvel Legends figures for this set where we had the two retro figures of Tigra and Hercules, and then we had the Walmart exclusive Compound Hulk figure. So all three of these are very cool looking figures and really awesome. I just love all three of them, especially the Tigra and Hercules. Those two are my favorite, and the Compound Hulk is awesome as well, just because the Hulk figures are always so cool, and getting one with the combination of the two different Hulks is awesome as well. But let me know what you thought of these figures down in the comments, and if you enjoyed my review, let me know with a thumbs up. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there, and I'll see you in our next review.